All right, today, you're, if you're watching this, most likely missed this lesson on parallel and perpendicular lines that we did in class. So I just want you to be able to look through it and review and listen, and hopefully it makes some sense to you. So parallel and perpendicular lines. What we learn when we work through our notebook file is that parallel lines, and those are lines that never intersect, like most of you know, they have the same slope, but they have different y-intercepts. So every time you're going to graph or see parallel lines, they will always have the same slope, but they will have different y-intercepts. So for example, we might have two equations. If one of them was like y equals 1 half x plus 8, another one that would be parallel to it would have to have the same slope. So it should also be y equals 1 half x, but it has to have a different y-intercept. So any other number like plus 5, minus 18, whatever, that would do it. So same slope, different y-intercepts. When you graph them, they should look like they are parallel. They would never cross each other. Okay, perpendicular lines, those are lines that meet at right angles, 90 degree angles. They always have slopes that are opposite reciprocals, opposite reciprocals. So again, they're going to look something like this, meeting at right angles. Opposite reciprocals are numbers that they're reciprocals of each other. So like if you write it as a fraction, the other one would flip, like two-thirds and three-halves. But if they're opposite reciprocals, one will be positive and the other one's negative. So it might be two-thirds and negative three-halves. Or it could be negative two-thirds and positive three-halves. I want you to think to yourself for a second, what would be the opposite reciprocal of negative five-eighths? So it would be the opposite reciprocal of negative five-eighths. Okay, so you'd flip the fraction, so and change it to its opposite. So this was a negative, so this was positive. The opposite reciprocal of negative 5 eighths would be 8 fifths. So lines that would be perpendicular might be something like this. y equals um, 2 ninths x, and y equals negative 9 halves x. Okay, and again, they could have... Um, they could have the same or different y-intercepts and still be perpendicular. So that doesn't really matter. We're just looking at the slopes. Okay, let's look at a few examples and see if you can get these right on your own. So I want you to just figure out for the first three, are the following pairs of lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? And I made these, some of them, a little bit trickier. So this one's y equals 3x plus 5 and y equals 5 minus 1 third x. So you really need to find the slope in each of these pairs of equations. So in the first equation, remember slope is the number that multiplies the x, if we're in that form, y equals mx plus b. Okay. So it looks like here my slope is 3. In the second one, I can switch it around if I want um, to negative 1 third x plus 5. A lot of you can figure it out straight from this form. But we need to remember the negative comes with it, so the slope in this one's negative 1 third. And if we look at 3 and negative 1 third, they're not the same, so they're not parallel. They are opposite reciprocals. 3 is the same number as 3 over 1. 3 over 1 and negative 1 third, those are opposite reciprocals. So we would say these are perpendicular. All right, let's look at another one again. I want you to try it and see if you can get it right without my help. Okay, here it is. So y equals 8 minus 9x, and y equals negative 9x plus 1. Okay, so in the first one, I'm going to look at the slope. So remember, what number multiplying x? My slope is negative 9. In the second one, again, number multiplying x, slope is negative 9. So they have the same slope. So as long as they have different y-intercepts, we're good. The y-intercept of this one is 8. The y-intercept of the second one is positive 1. So they do have different y-intercepts. They have the same slope. So these two lines are parallel. Okay. If they have the same y-intercept and the same slope, they'd just be the exact same line. Okay, let's look at this one. y equals 10 plus 2x and y equals 10 plus 0.5x. Right, checking this out. Right here, my slope in y equals 10 plus 2x is 2. My slope in y equals 10 plus 0.5x is 0.5. So 2, 0.5, or I'm going to write that as 1 half. Okay. If I look at these, these are not the same, so they're not parallel. They are reciprocals, 2 and 1 half are reciprocals, but they're not opposite reciprocals. They're both, both positive in this case. There's not one positive and one negative. 
So these are not parallel or perpendicular. We're going to say this is neither. Okay, one last question for you to try on your own, see if you can get it. So your job is to write an equation for a line that's parallel to y equals negative 4x minus 1, and then write an equation that's perpendicular to y equals negative 4x minus 1. So um, if we're looking at that, the thing that we need to know is the slope of this is negative 4. And make sure you're trying this before you look at what I did. <laughs> so if it's parallel to that, it means the same slope, but a different y-intercept. So I could have anything like with the same slope, y equals negative 4x plus 10. Okay? As long as you don't have minus 1 there, you're good. That would be something that's parallel to it. You could have y equals negative 4x plus or minus anything. If I'm looking for perpendicular, I need to have a slope that's an opposite reciprocal to negative 4. So in this case, negative 4, the opposite reciprocal of that would be 1 fourth. So if I'm going to write an equation that has a slope of 1 fourth, I might write like something like y equals 1 fourth x. Okay, and I might be plus 21. I don't care what you add or subtract. As long as your slope is 1 fourth, it's going to be perpendicular. Okay. So, once again, just recapping, parallel lines have the same slope and different y-intercepts, and perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals.